Are all the characters in here based on real people, or were some of them had to be invented to fit the story? All of the names are real. All of the characters are amalgamations. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there are characters, and I don't know, other than one random bit of information, I'm not sure what their personalities really were. Mm -hmm. um, but I, and so I had to, to create that for them. But all of the names are real. Um, and they are people that really existed. It's one of the reasons that in this blend of fact and fiction um, that I wanted to put in real newspaper articles, real mm -hmm. courthouse mm -hmm. um, documents and deeds and real photos so that you understand these are real people. Mm -hmm. And there really was a report that chronicled the dead and the wounded mm -hmm. from the Colfax massacre um, so that you know that there were some people that were there and there were some people that actually got out. And the, these documents were integral to the story that I wanted to put together. And I didn't want to stray too far from that. Mm -hmm. well, I'm um, so glad you wrote it as a novel because it's, it's so much more engrossing. And so you can feel the heartache. I mean, the, the middle of the book was so hard to read, but um, so much better to read it this way than out of a history book mm -hmm. where it uh, you know, 150 died. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just not nearly the same. It just this experience was so much better as a novel than you know, as a historical book, I think. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, from the perspective of experience, one of the things that I really enjoyed about this book is I felt like I knew the characters, mm -hmm. and I felt like they could be a member of my family. And even the characters that later in the book you may have come not to like very much, I'm thinking specifically of David Smith, you know, um, there was a tenderness and a, it, it, there was still a, a, a respect to the way the story was told um, around all of the characters within this book so that you kind of understood them very well. Um, how much time did that take? Uh, did you have to go back several times and look at these individuals and kind of reshape them? And did they kind of grow as you were writing this? You know, it's really interesting because people pick up a book and they read it and they say, oh, that was, I like that, mm -hmm. I didn't like that, go on to the next one. Mm -hmm. This is draft number 19 mm -hmm. oh. that you're finally mm -hmm. saying. It was actually 18 mm -hmm. was when I put the end and then my editor informed me there was not quite the end. So we had to go through one more revision. But um, in order to make these characters really um, resonate and to be authentic to themselves, mm -hmm they grew considerably over time. And each time they grew, that meant I had to go back and mm -hmm. reshape them again. So I had to go back to the beginning and mm -hmm. see what, what their arc was. Mm -hmm. So in the way of a fairly obsessive um, tatami, <laughs> um, I had several outlines that I wrote from. And one was a character outline, one was a plot outline, one was a scene outline, one was a mood wow. outline, one was a historical wow. outline. I mean, I wrote from a lot of different um, points of view and then trying to blend them so that it was readable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not something that was historical or footnotes or that mm -hmm. people would just yawn. I wanted to make sure that it was engrossing. It took a lot of, of drafts, but a, a lot of that, again, were these characters that in the beginning I was shaping mm -hmm. and by the end they were shaping my writing right. oh. and they were they were calling out on their own of who they needed to be and who they wanted to be mm -hmm. and even the um, even the characters that uh, you weren't necessarily sympathetic with mm -hmm. were calling out themselves right. to say this is not so simple Mm -hmm. This is that you, you need to understand why I came from this, mm -hmm. from this place and why I did these things. So it was, it was quite a long challenge and it took a lot of going back and back and back. 